Welcome to Drink Wine Be Crafty. I'm Megan. Today I'm doing another macrame plant hanger. Very simple design. I've been making some for my mom and she requested a more simple look. And this one is using a gathering knot and then we are just going to use alternating half hitch knots. So for this project, you will need six pieces of cotton cord, three millimeter cotton cord that are 100 inches long. You'll need a wooden ring and you will need a two 30 inch pieces of cotton cord because we're going to do a gathering knot on the top and we are going to do a gathering knot on the bottom. And I will share a link to the cord that I'm using. I really like this cord that I bought on Amazon so I'll share that link below. But now we're just going to do a gathering knot. So to do that you need to just make a loop and hold on to the top part and just keep looping this around. I'm going to keep wrapping this around until I get two inches of the knot and I'll show you how to finish this. And now to finish the gathering knot, you take your end and you're going to put it through this loop here. You have to leave some rope sticking out of the top because at, the, at this point we're going to take this top rope and we're going to pull our loop so that way we pull this this piece of extra into the knot and then just trim off it's a little bit longer than what we needed but probably could have gone with a 20 inch piece of cord trim the bottom first and then pull the top to hide the end at the bottom and then once you trim off the top you can actually adjust the knot to hide that end as well Now we will do our alternating half hitch knots. We're going to be working in groups of four strands for this project. Um, we need to measure about eight and a half inches down. Um, it's up to you if you want it to be longer or shorter, you can adjust that length, but we're going to do our first knot eight and a half inches down and you're going to grab four of the strands and we're gonna take the two center strands and that's gonna be where we do our first knot. The alternate half hitch is very simple. You just put your first cord that you can start on either side. I'm going to start with my left side, put the yarn over this cord and pull it through the hole, pull it through the loop, and then switch sides and then put the cord across the top of that one and put it through. So half hitch in different directions and then alternating them back and forth. I'm going to do eight. I'm sorry, right now I'm going to do this one. And then we're going to do the same thing to connect these two pieces of cord. So I'm going to do another alternate half hitch on this side and we're going to go eight, I keep saying eight, ten times on this side and then we're going to do the same thing with the other two strands. To keep things in order and not letting everything get twist it up here. I like to go ahead and do the other side, do the first two on the other side, and then you can go back and do the remaining eight on each side. And we are going to do this same thing for the rest of the cord. So we're going to have three groups of this. So before I do anything else, I'm going to go ahead and connect the other cord because like I said, it just keeps everything from getting twisted and tangled if you just get started with this step and then just go back to each section to continue the, the rest of them. So I'm going to do the same thing with these next two groups of four and then I will go back and I will finish that first, the first rows of these. Okay, now that we have all of our sections, we can go back and do the remaining eight knots that each of these are supposed to have. Mm -hmm. 
this is what each section will look like so I'm going to continue with the other two sections and then come back to show you the next step now that we have these three sections we're going to do almost the exact same thing but it's only different because instead of doing 10 we're going to do eight knots so we're just going to work with one of these and we're going to take the center knot to connect this at the bottom and th just do two alternating so one and then we're going to do one more just to connect them like we did at the top of this and then we're going to do eight on each side instead of ten Now just do this two more times with the other groups and I will show you the next step. For our last group of alternating half hitch, it's very similar. We're just gonna switch it up a little bit. We're actually going to join these, the groups, we're gonna join them now. So we're just gonna need two of these at a time, the ones that are side by side. And we are still working in groups of four, but we're going to take two from this group and two from this one that are beside each other. And we're going to connect those using the same two alternating half hitch. And like before, I'm going to grab that other group and do the same thing, just connect them making sure that we don't get things twisted and making sure that it's all placed how I want it before I do the remainder of the knots. So grab your other group and place it beside this one to see where you want to tie it on. And we're going to connect these two right here. And this is how they should look at this point. You can see we still are in groups of four, so we're going to connect these last ones to make our last group of four, and then we're going to do the same thing that we did with the rest of the groups of four. We're going to have seven knots on each side. Now that we've finished these last, this last group of our alternating half hitch, you just get them all lined up, make sure that they're all even and touching in the right place, and you're going to do your last gathering knot. And with this one, I did it a little bit smaller. I think I only did about an inch or so on this, but you can always do it as long or as short as you want. And also with the extra, the extra cord that's hanging at the bottom you can trim it any length I kept mine pretty long um, but yeah let me know if you guys like these I am definitely going to have at least two more I'm creating four designs for my mom but I may do more I've, I've been really enjoying these plant hangers and just playing around with the designs if you have any requests I love it let me know I've had several people ask me to help them with some projects and it's been really fun and I really do enjoy it's kind of I enjoy the challenge of trying to come up with some stuff for you guys and I will see you next time remember to like and subscribe and I will have a new video out soon bye guys